Hello and welcome to Foraging and Cooking with Kids. If you go foraging for food in the wild, be 100% sure that you pick the right kind, use books and apps to make no mistakes. And kids, never eat anything out of the wild without app. This week we're foraging for hawthorn. Hawthorn looks a little bit like rose hips or small crab apples. They are from the same oh, family. You can see that the roses, the rose hips, and the other ones are mixed up together. Can you see the difference? See the difference on the leaves and a little bit on the fruit. Hawthorn berries are edible and are very nutritious, and they're used in medicine too. Hawthorn is also called may tree or thorn apple. The leaves are alternate, toothed and oval, two to three inches in length. They are dark green and vary in size and shape. The whole tree is covered in thorns, so be very careful when you collect them. The thorns are up to two inches long. Hawthorn is a widespread wild plant. The flowers, leaves and berries are used in medicine. The plant is said to have a positive effect on heart function in particular. A soothing syrup that strengthens the circulation can be made from the berries. In the way you also can benefit from the healing effect of the red fruit in the winter until the next Hawthorn season. We're making syrup out of the hawthorn berries that we can use them in some laminate. We collected all together 250 grams. So we wash them and get them ready. You did a good job, Mabel. Well, now, I'm <laughs> the fresh washed berries come in a pot and get covered with water. So we're using for our 250 gram berries 125 gram of sugar or honey and one fresh squeezed lemon. We let them simmer for 20 minutes. After we finished all squeezing out the juice out of the berries, we are sifting all the little pieces out that we don't want in it. And we are adding the sugar and the lemon.
Then we will boil it between 3 to 5 minutes. When it's all finished, fill the syrup in a sterile container. To make lemonade, you use a whole lemon in the carafe and you use the syrup and fill it up with sparkly water. It is a very delicious lemonade and very refreshing in the summertime. In the wintertime, you can use the syrup as sweetener in your tea and all the syrup that we make through the whole year long, the kids will use when the first fresh snow comes on their slushies. Next week, I will show you the plant dock and what you can make out of it. Till then, thank you for watching Foraging and Cooking with Kids.